The River State Governor, Nyesung Wike, has ordered the demolition of shanties where counterfeit bottled water, carbonated soft drinks and alcoholic beverages are produced at Mbogu in Port Harcourt. He said the River State Government will acquire the land as the shanties are also known to be used by criminals for other nefarious activities. Governor Wige told journalist during a visit to Mbogo that he had received credible intelligence report that some criminal elements involved in the counterfeiting of bottled water, carbonated soft drinks and alcoholic beverages were operating in the area. Unbelievable. I got the security report this morning on what is going on here. And then you can imagine yourself what is going on here that people are in plastics and putting water and Cockle and cockle it up, and then at the end of the day, you buy the water on the road and you drink, and all kinds of uh, diseases and sicknesses that uh, abound. And uh, it's most unfortunate. And if you look at the area where we are, is a criminal hideout, and uh, I will not waste time immediately to demolish the area. Uh, in fact, this will take place in the next two days. I'm not going to give any report, any, any ultimatum. I can't believe that people can turn the whole protocol to a garbage uh, city instead of a, a, what do you call it, a garbage city. And uh, it's unacceptable to me. I cannot accept it. Wiki said several unsuspecting persons have been afflicted with deadly diseases after innocently purchasing fake products produced by the miscreants operating in the shanties. Wiki, who bemoaned the unhygienic environment littered with refuse and bagged used water in carbonated soft drink bottles, said his administration will not relent to read Port Hackett and its environs of shanties. Most of the shanties are hard for criminals. They operate in the night and they go back to the shanties and uh, uh, you cannot identify them. And so with the demolitions we have carried out, it has reduced the level of crime. Yeah, because, because one thing, when you don't know who is living where, how do you know? So how do you even address them? It's a problem to us. So for me, for me, we'll continue to do this and to clear the criminals out of this uh, protocol. And uh, that is what I owe the people of the state and the business community. The governor maintains that his administration will not relent in reading the state of every traceable hideout for criminals. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.